This first case Articles on the Go feature is titled Challenges in Preoperative Preparation, written by Paul Wafer, BS, MBA, RN. As I travel across the country performing operational assessments in perioperative services, one of the most common problems encountered are multiple inefficiencies in the preoperative preparation process. This starts with scheduling of the procedure, pre-admission testing, and preparation the day of surgery. This article will provide you with some tips to help reduce barriers and inconsistencies in these areas. Scheduling. It is recommended that all surgical scheduling be done electronically. Many of today's scheduling systems provide physician offices the opportunity to input their cases into a centralized depot or file that is then picked up by the scheduler, reviewed, added to the schedule, and confirmation is sent back to the physician's office. This works extremely well with surgeons that have a block schedule or when the surgeon practice is closely aligned or owned by the hospital with systems linked. This does not work as well with the independent practitioner that does not have a block. For those hospitals who have not upgraded their scheduling systems, an alternative is the availability of an electronic fax system. Using a standardized form, offices can input the information and fax it to a central number at the hospital. Rather than printing out the information on paper, the fax is routed to a specific file that can be pulled up by scheduling. This file can also be shared with patient financial services, etc., to reduce the number of phone calls. Once the case is scheduled, a confirmation fax is sent back to the physician office. Standardized and complete information. Even with the best of systems, the entire process will collapse if there is inconsistent and incomplete information. Whether scheduling electronically or on paper, the information required should be the same, and it should be complete in order to post the case on the schedule. Where most hospitals fail is when they move forward with scheduling the case, even if they do not have all of the required information at the time of scheduling. By requiring everything in order to post a case, you can avoid delays the day of surgery. Scheduling Requirements Along with the order to schedule the case, Demographic information, date, and time requested must be included. The items that lead to delays and should be a hard stop on whether or not the case is posted should include 1. Implant or loaner or special equipment requirements 2. A complete set of preoperative orders, including requested tests, antibiotic orders, and any special preparation requirements so that the case is not delayed the morning of surgery 3. While it would also be ideal to get the H&P at this time, it may not be practical unless the surgery is scheduled within the next few days. This is also one of the biggest causes of delays. History and Physical It is one of the great mysteries of life that some offices can have all of the information available days in advance, including the H&P, while others struggle getting it to you before the patient goes into the operating room. We recommend that one of the requirements for having a first case of the day is that the H&P be on the chart at least the day prior to surgery. How else can the RN and anesthesia provider adequately assess the patient if that information is missing? If a physician cannot get an H&P to the hospital prior to the day of surgery, that physician should not be able to schedule cases for the first case of the day. As always, thanks for listening to this episode of First Case Articles on the Go.